into 60th running of the Bettenhausen 100 has just commenced. Here we go. Down into the corner. Who's going to lead lap number one? The number 20 car, Emerson Axel, gets himself out onto the point. Down into the corner. We're stacked up side by side, wheel to wheel, through turn number one and two and onto the back straightaway. Boy, Emerson Axel made that eye side sing. He gets the lead, but here comes Logan CV fighting back into turn number three. Yeah, CV with a good look down to the inside for the number 22 car. Thinks better of it. Backs out and falls into the footsteps of the number 20 up front. Axel going to bring around here for lap number one as the field slowly singles out towards the front. A little side-by-side action back behind as here comes a run now out of CV. racing. We'll keep our eye on Cody Swanson to see if he can march forward. CV thought about making a move to the outside. Now does it down the back straightaway. Another peak for the number 22 car trying to bait that number 20 up to the high side or not. Just runs it deep into turn number three and CV takes over the top spot. A tremendous run there for the number 22 car down into the corner. Here's challenge for second on the field. Axum again sleeps out wide or sweeps out wide Bam. for the number 20. And just that quick, Cottle capitalizes that time and puts the number nine car in P2. Stock in that 22 car down into the corner. Better working the middle of the racetrack. Here comes Cottle down the inside for the race lead. Oh, what's Better going to do? Hang on, Sloopy. CV trying to keep the door closed on Connell. Connell's got position down low. CV looks out wide. The nine car draws alongside. Wheel to wheel. Connell out muscle CV and into the number one spot goes the nine car. Boy, Shane Connell is a stout lad and he just muscled up right there. Look out, a little slip of the grip getting into the corner. Fetter's able to get back out of the way. CV had to get on to Binder's heart. That sent him up high and throws him back into the number 20 car. It's now Emerson Axel working that P3 spot trying to run down. Now the 22 of CV. That's a good run by CV. CV's getting a little bit antsy up there. They're also closing on that lap traffic. Dave oh, Burkheimer lies just ahead as CV runs it up to the back bumper of Cottle. CV's poised to make a move. Back off a little bit, go to the whip down the back straightaway, and CV can get forward. Right now, Spotter's talking. To Shane Cottle and saying, guess what? He's coming. And running down at turn number one and two and down the back straightaway, but through three and four, Grant found something a little extra, although that time he bobbles getting into turn number one. Kosh Double. comes out, and unfortunately, that's going to be the six of C.J. Leary. There he gets into the throttle. We're back underway. Jake's going to like that one. Better look here, goes Seavey to the outside. Whoa. Woo! What a move by Logan Seavey. Hello, how you doing? Wow, I like that. That, that was, was incredible. He was fueled. He was on fire and fired up. I often use the term pick in their pocket. That's what pick in your pocket looks like because I'll guarantee you Shane Cottle was not ready for that. White flag is out. Final voyage of velocity for Logan Seavey up front. Made the bull move on the last restart for the number 22 car. It's not in the books yet. He's got to make her down the back, shooting through two more corners. Down that long straightaway. He's gritting his teeth right now as he pulls into turn number three. Deep down into the corner, back behind. Cottle watches on from second. Grant from third, but up front. Logan Seavey sets a quick time here tonight. Battles his way to the front for the number 22 car, and he will win the 60th running of the Bettenhausen 100. He rolled from the pole, and if you just look at the stats, it makes it look easy. That was not easy. As Logan Seavey picks up the win at the Bettenhausen 100, let him hear you, race fans. Almost got assaulted by the confetti. That confetti was out of here. Much like Logan Seavey, let's send it down to Christy. Man, thank you so much. What a day for Logan Seavey, who picks up his second dirt mile win here in the state of Illinois. Just picked up the Ted Horn 100 last year at the DeCoin State Mile and picks up tonight's, or today's, I should say, Bettenhausen 100 presented by Hunt Brothers Pizza. Logan Seavey qualified your Honest Abe Roofing Fast Qualifier today. Had the thing, everything but one. Watched it slip away and then fought back for it. Logan, that move to pass Shane Cottle, had you been sizing that up all along? Uh, yeah, a little bit. I knew um, I could get into one a lot faster than he could, and 
I can see on restarts that he was, um, you know, being a little extra cautious. It, you lose a lot of grip uh, when your tires cool off, and it takes a few laps to get, get it back. So um, I knew I could fire it in there. I didn't know if it was going to stick or not, but I knew I could at least get next to him. And I got it back in right across his nose, and I was able to, you know, stay in front of him. So, um, yeah, I just had to fight hard for that one. You know, I just uh, struggled with the 15, and it got by me, and then it's just so hard to, um, you know, I feel like we're so even. He could run a little bit harder and, and get away, and then I could run hard and kind of get back to him. But when you're leading, you can just kind of drag around the rail and, and dirty the track up, and it makes it so hard to, to close that last uh, couple car lines. So um, just how this racing is and uh, track position is huge, so I was just glad to get it back there. There are so many factors that go into winning a race on a dirt mile. Equipment, day race, endurance, tires, strategy. Where do you have to focus your efforts to make sure you consistently are able to be there when the time comes? Yeah, I feel like a lot of it's just, you know, feeling uh, good in the rubber and having a balanced car in the rubber and not burning your right front off, not burning your right rear off. And for as hard as I feel like I ran for probably 50 or 60 laps, my tires look pretty good. So it uh, just says how good Ronnie has this car balanked. And uh, AJ Felker's got the engine running uh, just perfect. You know, we made a few changes here for the race, and um, man, I couldn't ask for anything better. So, um, yeah, I could do whatever I needed to. I could go drag around the rail. I could drive around guys on the outside. So um, feeling really confident driving this thing, and that's uh, half the battle. On a Saturday afternoon, Logan Seavey picks up the Bettenhausen 100 presented by Hunt Brothers Pizza. He and Kenley are going to jump in the car. They're going to drive to Macon. He's going to race again tonight for a midget win.